for the day-to-day -day builder, we don't oftentimes call it green. We call it just good business. Uh, people need warm homes. They need cool homes. They need safe homes, not only from the elements, but from medical conditions. You don't have to go very far to hear of lead paint, asbestos. And now I think builders are more attuned to not putting products in that we know might be harmful. It just makes good business sense. When I started in this business almost 40 years ago, there were actually builders that used to sheet walls and floors and roofs with one by boards. Then we went to plywood, and from plywood we went to the oriented strand, the OSB boards. Um, those types of composite materials that use virtually all of the tree. I, I think of one, one of the biggest green type things that, that we've come up with. Somebody can design some of those components to do what no tree would do. We're trying to meet that energy efficiency code, and we're trying to find products that are not as detrimental to our environment, both in their manufacture and in what happens to them later. The Green Movement, I think, has, has made us become much more aware of not only um, the nuts and bolts of how things go together, but the long-term effects of the materials and the procedures and methods that we're using to build things. The good part about construction management as far as taking care of the environment is we're the orchestra leader of the construction project. So what better position to have than the one that's actually going to be managing all of the resources, of, uh, making sure that the subcontractors and contractors are doing things the right way and not wrecking the environment by just cutting corners. Our students are being trained to manage everything from uh, multiple residential developments, which would be uh, uh, some of the larger national level uh, contractors maybe, through building uh, commercial buildings, uh, schools, hospitals, apartment buildings, those type of things. Uh, we're also doing infrastructure projects. We are responsible for making sure that we're building things efficiently and um, that we're doing things the right way so that we're not harming the environment and that we're, we're using the proper resources the right way and we're not allowing things to be dumped in drains when we're constructing something, uh, making sure that we're doing the precautions and the planning so that we're not affecting the environment negatively. And because I want my kids and grandkids to be able to enjoy the same things I did, and if we don't take care of our resources, they're not going to be there.